run on the numbers if we can. We can make a vertical descent over a spot here. One of the advantages of the gyroplane, you can go back to essentially zero airspeed. You can go backwards, but uh, things slow it quite, uh, quite slowly. Do a vertical descent down. When you're sure you got your spot made, then you have to lower your nose. Leave yourself enough time to lower the nose and get down to the two zero. So I'm just keeping it out here to the right. Pull the engine down a little more here. Make sure it's completely in an idle. Alright, so now I'm going to start uh, lowering the nose just a little bit. It's actually much faster to get back to uh, 60 or so if you're at, you know, 30 to 40. So I'm just slowing it down to about 35. Maintaining that still doing quite a, uh, uh, not a completely vertical descent, but uh, quite a steep descent rate using that to my advantage. So now I'm going to let my nose come down a little. I'm going to let our air speed come on up. Coming up there, we're looking at about 55 or so. Still out of the power completely. And we are going to touch down right on the numbers. There we go. So again, you can land the plate, land the uh, gyro in quite a small spot. Matter of uh, just 50 to 75 feet if you had to. So we're on the go again. Mike Golf on the downwind for runway 20. Storm Runway 9 or Mike Golf, runway 20, cleared for the option. Cleared for the option, 20, 9 Mike Golf. Well, we'll try that again. So we're out here beside the runway, we're going to come all the way out of our power. And just kind of come around here, going to keep our spot kind of out. That's about a 90 degree angle to us here for just a bit. You'll notice that by the time we actually get our wheels down and touch, that the aircraft's only rolling about 15 miles an hour or so, 15 to 20. They're using that vertical descent to our advantage. And let the airspeed come up just a bit. There we go. Now I'll let our nose come on down. And here comes the two zero, and we're there. Have yeah, a well, luckily landing, but no one. Well, better run on the two zero. Again, I'm on illustrate quite a slow flight here. We can slow this thing down to 40 or so. You notice that as I'm slowing down, I'm actually bringing power in. The most efficient airspeed for this particular gyroplane is right at 60 to 65. And to go slower than 60 is going to take increasing amounts of power. And to go faster than about 65, 60 to 65 takes increasing amounts of power. So. come down, get our speed up, so it'll actually climb much better. And that might go from the down one for two zero. Experimental nine or my golf runway two zero, clear for the option. Here for the option two zero, nine might go. Let's say I was to lose the engine, uh, essentially straight right up 
straight over the uh, two zero on two zero. We can actually slow our airspeed down. We can even back up if we had to. We can do S turns. Move their aircraft around quite well to get down to where we want to be here. So. Oh, we're up here about, well, I guess four or five hundred feet. And we're right over the two zero. So I'm going to come out, tire, of, the, out of the tower. 9829 Juliet, it's on the ramp, ready to taxi. Cessna 9829 Juliet, runway two zero, wind 150 at six, altimeter 3021. Taxi via A little bit of a vertical descent. And you notice that we're actually backing Juliet, up here. Taxiing echo to two zero, thank you. Still out of the power. The nose come down a little, get a little forward airspeed now. We're coming on down with the nose. Coming on down. And there we are, right on the 2 0 again. And with Dale 9, Mike, go flight to 180 back to uh, Foxtrot and on to Mid States. Or on to Cape Cod. Crew back to Foxtrot. Back to Foxtrot and on to Cape Cod for 9, Mike, up. All right, once we're on the ground, we trim it all the way forward, get our green trim light, show that the rotor disc is flat. And we got our wire on the uh, stick to help hold the stick forward. And we're taxiing on that. 